Hi, my name's Tess and I'm a fire engineer. Every building you've ever been in has been designed by a fire engineer to make it safer in case there's a fire. It's not just me who's a fire engineer. Meet my friend Kayla's. We both work as fire engineers in Australia. So what does a fire engineer do? Do we put out fires? No, that's what firefighters do. We help design buildings to stop fire starting. We warn people if one does start and we make it easy for them to escape. We design systems to stop the fire and smoke spreading and make it easier for the firefighters to do their job. My friend Michael is a fire engineer in Shanghai. See if you can spot all the things that keep his office safe before my friends Audrey and Peter can. Watch out, they're both fire engineers too. Thanks Tess. See how many you can spot? There's six in total. Okay, off we go. Can you spot it? That's right, it's a fire alarm. Peter, why do we fit these? If a fire starts, it's important to let people know as soon as possible so they can get away from danger to a safe place. Okay, what's next? Here's another one. An exit sign? Why do these make a building safer, Peter? Well, once people hear the fire alarm, they need to know the safest way to leave the building. Let's see what else there is. Haha, I bet some of you can spot this one. A fire extinguisher? Peter, how do these put fires out? Fires need heat and oxygen to keep burning the fuel. If you spray water or carbon dioxide on them, you starve a fire of oxygen or you cool it down so that it can't keep burning. They're pretty good dealing with small fires, but people should only try to use one if they're not in danger. Usually it's best to leave the building and let the firefighters come and put the fire out. Hmm, those were the easy ones. Can you spot the trickier ones? Hmm, there's an important one here. Can you see it? Ah yes, fire doors. What's the trick with these, Peter? The fire doors stop the smoke and flame from spreading through the building. And fire engineers can use them to provide safe routes to outside. The next one is tiny. Can you spot it? I'll give you a clue. It's on the ceiling. A sprinkler? Is this for watering the plants, Peter? No. This is a bit like having lots of fire extinguishers. We can put these all over the building to quickly put out the fire. Okay, the next one is super tricky. Only for real experts. Okay, last one. It's on the ceiling again. Can you see it? Smoke vents. What in the world are they? If a fire does start, it's the smoke that causes the greatest danger. So these vents pump the smoke away from the people, helping them breathe and letting them find their way to safety. Wow, that was tricky. I'm David, another fire engineer. How many of those six did you spot? Without fire engineers, we wouldn't be able to build amazing buildings around the world. Buildings can be very, very tall, or some buildings can have quite a lot of people in them, like theaters, stadiums, and train stations. Some buildings can be very important, such as hospitals and schools. Some use materials like wood and plastic, which are quite flammable, but fire engineers design these buildings to be safer. So, maybe one day you can become a fire engineer and help to make the world a safer and better place.